Hey guys, welcome to the 10th video of this tutorial series Android application development using Kotlin. So in the last video we talked about MVC architecture and also and we also implemented a simple application using MVC. I hope you run the application. I'm sorry in the video I forgot to run the application but I think you ran the application and it and I hope it went well. So in this video I'm talking about another alternative pattern of coding which is MVP basically model view presenter but before going to model view presenter pattern I'd like to first talk about, talk to you about the limitations of MVC and why MVP was needed there so if you recall all the application logic or all the business logic implemented in the controller side the view side basically the main activity uh, was just implementing the view part and then the data side which was student uh, was just taking care of the data the controller the student controller was handling all the business logic it's simpler in case of a small application but when your when your features gets extended in your application or when you add more and more features in your application your business logic becomes bigger and your controller class will have too much responsibility to handle all those business logics also in Android, Android activities are very tightly coupled with both UI and data access mechanisms. Thus, in whenever we are using MVC, it is easy to fall into trap of placing both controller and view logic in an activity or fragment whenever you are going for a big application. Based on these problems, there is an alternative pattern which is an MVP pattern. So, what is MVP pattern? It is a good alternative architecture uh, which provides a way to structure your application uh, it provides regularity stability and in general a more maintainable and clean code base so similar to mbc this also consists of three layer model view and presenter the first layer is the model layer this is similar to the previous one in mvc pattern it will continue to handle your data data in simple classes the second one is view this is again the same your views are going to be implemented through activity or fragment uh, I'll talk to you about fragment in later class in detail but in case of view in MVP will change the scope scope of what the view controls in MVP and the last one is presenter the presenter handles both UI updates based on changes to the data model and also processes user input the presenter will contain much of the business logic and replace the controller from MVC. So, whenever you are hearing this, this might sound like it's they are the same thing and then just the presenter is being replaced or the controller is being replaced by the presenter. But in MVP, instead of having a controller activity which handles both changes to the model and what is displayed on the screen, the controller and view part here in MVP are separated out and both presenter and view, view becomes more lightweight. So, the responsibility of the controller is divided so that the presenter and the view they are considered as a separate entities and both are made somewhat light lightweight than in um, view and controller in MVC pattern as you can see in this figure this is the architecture of MV MVP pattern so data which is the model and UI which is the view only communicate with one another through intermediate class which which are the presenters so presenter uh, they contain all the business logic while the view focuses on how to display the data the control responsibility is now split between the view and presenter okay the presenter actually handles the flow of data and abstracts away business logic from the controller so the android specific code stays in in the view layer and the presenter also can be independently tested from android sdk uh, what we have here is we have two interfaces in both presenter and views uh, which will define these presenter and views so interface will help uh, with decoupling parts of architecture uh, interface will also form a contract between presenter and the view here so whenever there are changes in the data presenter will be notified first that the data has been changed view will then receive the data through the presenter and update itself using the data that is received from the presenter now now whenever you you're changing the data based on some user action from the view 
the same flow happens so the user action is first notified to the presenter and then the presenter handles data changes in the model so i hope now you can find the difference between mvc and mvp mvc does not have an interface architecture there uh, but mvp actually uses uh, interface so that both the uh, both the presenter and then and then the viewer controller can can be made somewhat lightweight so, so thank you for listening uh, in the upcoming video we're going to implement an example on mvp pattern thank you